Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. Today, I want to talk about how covert narcissists are impossible. You just can't win with a covert narcissist. And the biggest realization, realization you're going to have when dealing with a covert narcissist is that you are dealing with a covert narcissist. The problem with dealing with covert narcissists is most of the time when you dealt with them, you didn't know you were dealing with a covert narcissist. You just figured you were dealing with a difficult person and, you know, they ran hot and cold. Oh, this is their way of dealing with things. Sometimes they give you the silent treatment. Maybe they try to play the victim. Covert narcissists love to play the victim. Oh, you know, they're the victim when it comes to money. Poor me. They have the poor me complex. All right. And this is how they try to get the sympathy of outsiders by playing the poor me complex. The covert narcissist is always going to play the good guy. They're always going to try to fool outsiders that, you know, they're so nice, they're so giving, they do everything in the relationship, and you are the unreasonable, crazy nut that they have to deal with, okay? So this is how they try to manipulate other people. See, a covert narcissist is always going to use outsiders to validate them. They feel like the more people that agree with them or side with them, it gives them more power to gang up on you. And this is what covert narcissists do. They try to get others to gang up on you. And how do they do that? By, you know, kissing up to these outsiders, doing nice things for them, you know, giving them food, complimenting, flattering all these outsiders. And this is how they create their own little flying monkeys or gang that will all side against you when you have a problem with that covert narcissist, all right? Because the minute you say something bad about the covert narcissist, they have all their people that are going to back them and make it like, no, you're the crazy one and everything like that. Because a lot of these outsiders don't see that they're being manipulated by the covert narcissist. See, a covert narcissist, they're very difficult because they will not communicate directly. They communicate indirectly. Passive aggressive is how they commu how they deal with people, okay? They are very they are flat out cowards that can't tell you to your face how they really feel about you because they're afraid to be called out. They're afraid that you're going to get them in a corner, you're going to hit them with those facts. And you're going to make them look bad. You're going to make them look wrong. And they can't deal with shame. Okay? So they're always going to come at you in an indirect way. Or they'll try to slight you. And make you feel insecure about yourself. This gives the, the covert narcissist power in thinking like, oh, you know, you're second guessing yourself. You're doubting yourself. You know, a covert narcissist, they love to gaslight. They love to say, oh, it didn't happen like that. Or I don't recall, you know, nobody plays dumber than a covert narcissist. And they always do the dumb routine to get out of something. Okay. When you call them out on something like, uh, you know, did you leave that over there or something like that? I'll say, oh, well, I really don't remember. Okay. Because they don't want to ever be called out for doing anything wrong. So they are impossible to deal with because you will never, ever get transparency from a covert narcissist. A covert narcissist always has a wall up. There are times where they could be, you know, a lot of fun. You could have laughs with them. Sometimes they will open up a little bit and be warm to you. This is how they fool you. Like I had a, a man on my social media say, you know, I, I just don't under, I don't know if, if she's a covert narcissist because sometimes she's so genuine and so real and everything like that. And then other times I, she's not. Well, if it, if she's not the other times, then guess what? That realness was not authentic, okay? Because when somebody's an authentic person, you don't have to question it. The minute that you have to question whether somebody is authentic is the minute that you know they're not authentic, okay? Because authentic people don't play mind games. You know where you stand. They make things clear. They don't have a problem sitting down and coming to common ground with you. They can own when they're wrong. But see, a, a covert narcissist, what a lot of times they'll do, and I dealt with this in a relationship that I was in, is they'll yes you to death. They'll say, oh no, nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. And then you're living with this person and you're getting periods of silence 
or you know you may try to talk to them and they're talking but they're not really making conversation because they're they're giving you a cold drift a covert narcissist they give you cold drifts they're cold you guys covert narcissists are very cold people okay you can never rely on these people because they're not always there for you they may be there for you once or twice but they are not your ride or die because they will find excuses out of getting out of doing things okay like for instance let's say you're sick and you're relying on this covert narcissist they may be there for you one time but the second time you call upon them they won't be around they'll disappear and they'll come up with ex with excuses because they don't want to be bothered they don't have that kind of empathy they don't know what it is to be there for somebody they don't want to be burdened they don't want to be bothered the other thing that makes it impossible when you're dealing with a covert narcissist is when they use passive aggressive behavior you can never ever pin them down okay unless you see it's a pattern in other words let's say that they're always you know making an excuse why they're not calling you back oh you know i couldn't call you back you know my phone battery died oh i didn't have a wi-fi connection or something like that if you see this consistent behavior you know that this person is full of shit okay if it's a one-time thing it's possible but you know you have to read the indirect signs that you are getting okay the non-verbal signs when you're dealing with a covert narcissist you've got to be able to pick up on the indirect signs that these people give you and what are these signs in other words you ask them to show up for a dinner and they're an hour late and you ask them please be on time okay and they show up and you know they have no they make up an excuse or something like that why they're late when they knew they were supposed to they do it on purpose maybe to make you look bad in front of other people okay the other thing with a covert narcissist is a covert narcissist is always going to be nice to other people nicer to other people than they are to you okay why because number one they want to win over these new people okay they want these new people on their side on their team you they're in competition with you covert narcissists are jealous people that are in competition with you and a lot of times you don't even realize that they're jealous of you because they'll flatter you they'll say oh i like that dress you have on or something like that or they'll try to be really friendly and everything like that so you're saying to yourself well you know they seem to really like me but then there's other signs that come that you don't realize in other words they may have a dinner with other friends and they don't include you or something like that because they want to keep you separate from their other contacts a covert narcissist separates their contacts their their associates because they don't want you becoming too close with the other people this gives them power because those are their friends and they don't want you in on the click and you becoming too close with them. And this happens a lot in families as well. A covert narcissist is going to align with somebody else in the family, probably another narcissist or somebody of power, and they're going to shut you out. They're going to have little secrets. They're going to talk bad behind your back. This is how they gang up on you in families and stuff like that. They don't include you in family get togethers or things like that. When you start to see these things, then you know this person is not in your corner, okay? This person is not there for you. That's one of the greatest indicators that you can see whether you're dealing with a covert narcissist is when you're down and out, is that person there for you consistently or are they or or do they disappear? Nobody ghosts more than a covert narcissist and comes back with an excuse, okay? Because they don't have the guts to come up to you and tell you, you know, oh, I don't want to meet you Friday night because they made plans with somebody else and you're a second choice or something like that. Covert narcissists, they work their options. They're opportunists. They're going to go where the bread is buttered the most, okay? So if you are not their first option or somebody that they want to be around with, they're going to breadcrumb you, okay? A covert narcissist will never just, you know, uh, cut you off. Rarely will they just cut you off. They always leave their doors open. They never burn a bridge, okay? 
because, you know, they want to know that, you know, they could come to you if they need something or whatever. So they always play like, oh, no, I'm there for you and everything like that. And then they disappear. OK, or they do passive aggressive little things. They may come to your house and they may make a comment about something in your house like, oh, I like the fact that you painted your house. But why did you do that color or something like that? This is the plant, a seed of, of doubt that, you know, something's not right that you did or that they don't like it. And then they'll say something like, no, no, it, it looks OK. It looks OK. This is to make you feel bad. So you've got to go by your gut feeling how this person makes you feel. A covert narcissist is always going to slight you. OK, what does that mean? That means that they're always going to make a comment that you can never pin them down on, but is going to make you feel bad, okay? Either bad about yourself, bad about where you live, bad about, you know, how you dress, you know, how you do anything. They're always a covert narcissist. Their goal is to break your self-confidence, okay? Okay. Because the irony of it all is they are the ones that are so severely insecure. That's why they can't face anybody and say something, okay? A lot of times these covert narcissists, they came from very toxic households that they never felt they had control. So, you know, people deal with trauma in different ways. And a lot of times a covert narcissist, the way they deal with trauma is they pay pay they pay back people indirectly so that you could never point the finger at them. And you know who does this a lot? In-laws do this a lot, okay? They're not gonna go and, and point their finger at their daughter-in-law or their son-in-law because they know that their son or daughter will may not have anything to do with them if they come at them directly. So they'll make little innuendos about, you know, their their child's spouse, you know, like, why did she make you do that? Or why is he doing that? Or something like that. They are fire starters. Covert narcissists are fire starters. And the thing is this, you guys, when you're dealing with a covert narcissist, you've got to be able to recognize passive aggressive behave behavior, okay? The other thing when you're dealing with a covert narcissist is this. A lot of times, you know, you may be talking with a covert narcissist and you may bring up you know, a point or something, and, and you're very valid in what you're saying, but they'll cut you off. A covert narcissist loves to cut you off or stonewall you because they don't want to hear that you're making a valid point or that, you know, you know, you know what you're saying or something like that. So what do they do? They say, okay, that's enough. I don't need to hear that. Okay. I don't need all those details. Okay. That's enough. That's enough. That's their way of indirectly making you look like a jerk. Like, in other words, you're talking too much. You're a babbling idiot. You know, I get it. I get it. I don't need you to go on and on and on, okay? They won't even let you finish a sentence because they don't want you to want to hear something that you may be calling them out on and explaining yourself. They don't want to hear it because they don't want to validate you. So their way of putting you down is to shut you down, okay? And say, okay, okay, that, that's enough, that's enough. And this is another reason too why covert narcissists are impossible because if you have conflict with a covert narcissist and let's say you're a very transparent person, you speak the truth and you try to sit down at the table with that covert narcissist and everything like that, that covert narcissist, you know what they're going to do? You know what covert narcissists love to do, you guys? They love to say, well, let's leave the past in the past and let's move on. Let's just move on from here. This is their way of not having to face accountability or shame. And what a covert narcissist doesn't realize is that if you don't recognize and fix the problem, okay, you can't fix the problem, all right? Because when you put things under the rug, so to speak, or push things under the rug, past, you know, conflicts and everything like that, guess what? You may go okay with that person for a little while, but eventually, because that conflict was never resolved, it's going to come up again. It's going to come up again. 
and you're going to fight about it again. This is why you have to resolve conflict with whoever you're with. This is one of the most important things I have to tell you guys. When you're looking for a partner or you're dealing with somebody, you've got to see how does this person deal with conflict? How do they fight? Do they give you the silent treatment? Okay. Do they yell and scream and get in your face and try to intimidate you so you don't open up your mouth? You know, how does this person fight? And covert narcissists love to fight with silence. This is the tool of the covert narcissist. They will give you the silent treatment. If they don't like what you're saying or you're calling them out on something, the first thing that covert narcissist is going to do is stonewall. You walk out in the middle of a conversation or slam the phone down and they're going to go no contact and give you the silent treatment, which, by the way, is a form of emotional abuse. OK, and some of the covert narcissists, they can go a couple days they can go a couple of weeks, and if you're dealing with a real bad one, they can go a couple uh, months and longer and everything like that. When you're dealing with people like this, you know, you have to let this nar narcissist know that when they come back, you're not going to be available and open for conversation. And when they do come back, guess what? They don't want to talk about the conflict. They'll just say, you know, I miss you or something like that. Let's just move on from here. Let's not talk about the past, Okay. And they're avoiding all of that because they can't face shame, all right? This is why these people are impossible, all right? Trust me. I know I've been around them my whole life. I'm surrounded by these people, all right? And the thing is, you will never feel connected to that covert narcissist because they will never open up completely to you. Never, you guys. Listen to me when I tell you. A covert narcissist always has secrets. They're either talking to somebody on the side. It could be their family. It could be somebody that they're looking to get with, a situationship. It could be their friends at work or something like that. But they always have little secrets that you don't know about. You know why? Because a covert narcissist doesn't trust anybody, all right? These people, I guess they've been hurt so badly in their childhood that they have absolute no trust in anybody so they will never, ever be able to open up to you and you will be able to be connected to this person, okay? That's why these people are impossible. But you've got to recognize when somebody's being passive aggressive to you, where they're giving you the silent treatment or they're stonewalling you, or another big thing with a covert narcissist is they love excuses. Excuses why they can't do something. Excuses why they don't call you back. Excuses, you know... Around the board, there's always an excuse. Oh, I'm always working. I'm always working. I'm always working. Well, everybody's always working, okay? You're not the only one that's always working. And with the age of technology, it takes less than a minute to send a text, okay? But that covert narcissist will have an excuse, okay? Trust and believe me when I tell you. And you'll see it if you're able to spot this covert narcissist. A covert narcissist, the way you're going to spot it is you're going to feel like they're going to make you feel uneasy. They're going to make you feel insecure, okay? So even though they may be nice at times and you question it and you say to yourself, you know, I don't know if this person's a covert narcissist. You know, sometimes they're really nice and everything like that. Are they somebody that, you know what, when they say they're going to call, they call? Are they somebody who follows through and is there for you? If they're not, okay, or you find that, you know, you try to talk to them and they sit there with a blank stare on their face and they're just listening to you, but they're not talking much. They're not opening up to you, okay? Go by your gut. You'll feel it with a covert narcissist. You will never feel like you're connecting with their soul. You'll never feel completely comfortable that everything's okay. There's always an undercurrent when you're dealing with a covert narcissist, and that is your gut. That is God's way of telling you that this person is not open with you, okay? This is why they're impossible. And don't think you're going to change these people. You're not going to change them. They've been like this their whole lives, all right? And you're not going to make the difference. See, this is a, a thing that a lot of people think. They're going to change the person by showing them a lot of love and opening up and everything like that. Let me just tell you one thing. The more open you are with a covert narcissist, the more transparent you are with that covert narcissist, the more that covert narcissist is going to think you're weak. 
okay? Believe me when I tell you, they're gonna think you're weak because they're gonna sit there and they're gonna be nice and everything like that, but they're gonna think you're a jerk because you're opening up and you're leaving yourself vulnerable. This is how they think, you guys, all right? So it's not that they're gonna, you know, be closer with you because there will always be that wall up. As a matter of fact, if you wanna earn the respect of a covert narcissist, you tell them less. You don't open up to a covert narcissist. You, you know, you watch what you say with these people because anything you say to a covert narcissist, you could be sure they're going to use it against you and bring it up to other people. Let's say you tell them a secret about something personal in your life. Guess what? Nobody's a bigger backstabber than a covert narcissist and a, a bigger gossiper than a covert narcissist. And they're going to get a thrill out of going to an outsider and telling them your secret. They love this. They love this. Okay. Because a covert narcissist is jealous, all right? They're jealous of something with you, okay? Maybe you're successful, maybe you're good looking, maybe you have confidence, all right? They hate when you have confidence because they have such an inferiority complex. But the bottom line is you're never going to win with these people. Get away from them. Trust me when I tell you, you will spend years trying to you know, connect with this covert narcissist and you will never do it. You'll drift with a covert narcissist. You may live day to day with them. You will, you know, you're going to drift with this person. You're going to deal with all the bullshit of the silent treatment and them making excuses why they can't do something or, or something like that. But they're not going to change, you guys. Believe me, they're not going to change. And the best thing you can do is disengage and get away from them. And if you have to have con uh, contact with them or anything like that, minimal contact with these people. Minimal, all right? Because these people are going to break down your self-esteem. A lot of times when you're dealing with a covert narcissist, after you have a conversation or after you're dealing with them, guess what? You, you're always not feeling right about yourself, right? You're always feeling like, you know, down about yourself or something because they made a little slight remark like they may make a joke or something and say I was just joking you know I was just joking you know oh you look good you know I didn't realize that you lost weight or something like that they say something to make you feel uncomfortable and not right about yourself spot it you're dealing with a covert narcissist and you need to get away from these people and you need to say to yourself uh, uh, uh i'm dealing with toxic let me step back from this i'm dealing with a toxic person i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna react to this and don't react with these guys with these people you guys they thrive on seeing you get upset they don't give it to them just get away from them and put in your brain they are a narcissist, they are toxic, and it doesn't matter what comes out of their mouth, all right? My, I need to, you know, step out that door and get away from this, okay? It's not you, it's the fact that you're dealing with an insecure, inferior type of person that just wants to, you know, makes them feel better to put you down. So stay away from these kind of covert narcissist, jealous people, okay? I hope that helps you, and if it does, please hit the subscribe button and please share, share, share the podcast, you guys. Have a great day. Hi, you guys, it's Yaz. And I want to tell you about my two books on Amazon. The first book is Regain Your Power. It's all about power and relationship. Who has the power in the relationship? And it goes into all of that, okay? The other book is Signs He's Not Into You, He's Wasting Your Time, okay? Check it out. It gives you a lot of good clues as to whether you're with somebody who's a real one or somebody who's just going to waste your time. You could read them both with Kindle's free trial membership. So check it out. Link is in the podcast description. If you guys are having a problem in your dating or relationship or you're dealing with somebody maybe that's narcissistic, you don't know if they're a narcissist or you're just having problems, you're in a toxic relationship and you need some clarity on it, go to the link in the podcast description for my website where I offer email and phone coaching. If you have a quick question, just a quick question, and you want to get a video sent back to you answering your question, there's also a link there for Vizio, 
where I will send you a personalized video answering your question. Hi, you guys. I just want to let you know that The Game Exposed now has their merchandise available. Check out the link in the bio and you could go check it out. There's cool hoodies, cool sweatpants, cool hats. So go to the bio for the link. And also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook at The Game EXP123 and also on Instagram the game exp one two three okay and have a great day